Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. But first, a thank you to my Patreon supporters. I love the interaction and feedback. Today I'm going to show you how to use the include level of detail function. And we're going to talk a lot about level of detail. And I'm going to be using profit margin as an example. So we have category, subcategory, sales, and profit. And I've got three different ways of calculating profit. A simple profit, which is just profit divided by sales. Then what I'm calling the profit margin, which is sum of profit divided by sum of sales. And then the include function, which is, you can see the include, which is profit, sum of profit divided by sum of sales. So I'm gonna go now to the subcategory Actually, I'm going to go all the way down to the lowest level. I'm going to start there. And I've only picked three product names. And you can see the first one only has one order. The second one and third one have three orders each. And when you're looking at it at this level, this is the most granular level. We're going to assume that there's no nothing below one record per order per product. And the value, the average profit margin, is the same for all of these. And that's because it's at the lowest level. Now we're gonna go up one level. These were the first three that we looked at. And you'll notice that the top one, all three profit margin calculations are the same. But now the second and third one, the profit margins are different. So what's happening? What's happening is you can see this profit margin the simple one is calculating the profit margin at each individual order level and then taking the average of those, in this case, these three. What's happening at the profit margin is it's summing up all the profit and dividing by all the sales. So if you were to take this 253 divided by this 1826, you would get 13 percent and if you look that profit margin with the include function is basically the same thing as the profit cal margin calculation so these two last two columns are the same and this middle column is the one that's different so now what happens if we go up one more level now let's take a look down here we're wanting the number to be negative 0.2 percent right we want What's the average profit margin by product name? And what you see now is you've got three different numbers. It's also important to note that we're changing this to average. These are all averages now because we want the average profit margin for the bookcases. What is this 1.4 telling you? Well, if you were to take this 345, divided by this 23,886, it would give you 1.4%. So at this level here, it's ignoring all the other product names, and it's just calculating the profit at the total level. At the include, what that is doing is it's saying, if you see there, it says include product name. It's assuming that you're going to, you're going to calculate that formula at the product name level, and then you're going to take this average. Now what usually happens is you may have to come over here and change it to average from sum. The other thing you may need to do is come down here to total using sum. Change it from automatic to average, because that's what you're trying to do. You're not trying to add up all the different profit margins. You want the average. And then when you, so when you come to this top level again, the three, there's three different ways of calculating average profit margin. Each of them may be correct depending on how you want to calculate it. Going back here, just a reminder again, this includes the level of detail at this product level. Now, if you came here and changed it to sum, you'll notice that that's changed to 5.4 because it's adding all of these values up. You don't want that. You want the average. You want the total to be the average. 
Leave comments below to let me know if there's other ways that you've used it. I hope you'll check out these other cool videos that I've selected for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below.